Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm really sorry guys, I know I've only just uploaded a video, but this information was a little bit too juicy to leave. So, what am I on about? As you can tell from the background, it's to do with the upcoming Sylvaneth release. GW have released a video on the uh, community page explaining that there is an unforeseen delay for the upcoming Sylvaneth release. So it looks like it was to be released soon, possibly within the next month, but something's happened, so they won't divulge whether it's like distribution or whether quantities are not right. But they've had to announce that there's a delay. But the benefit to us with the delay is that they've dropped some some pictures that they wouldn't have dropped until the run up to the release. So let's have a quick look and see what the future Silver Earth release has to offer. I know it's only going to be a snippet, it's not going to be a full divulgence of information, but we can have a look through and uh, see what we think. Right, first off the bat, guys, let's get the obvious out of the way. We're going to have a new Battle Tome, new War Scrolls, and new dice. Standard GW release. If you're going to drop a Battle Tome, you will drop everything else to get a bit of flavour. So, I got no problem with this. Ooh, the Battle Tome is just going to have updated rules. It's going to tell you where Sylvaneth are in the grand scheme of things in Age of Sigma now that the Soul Wars have started and the Necroquake has happened. So we get to see how you know um how the Sylvaneth have you know gone through it and how they are dealing with it and how the Ever Queen is you know trying to command her forces. So it's a nice little release. War scrolls are always useful, the tokens will always be useful, but we don't know what they're going to entail yet because they haven't really dropped any rules except they've dropped three war scrolls to do with Kurnoth Hunters in this article. We will look at them after, but I think it's what would have been released with the Gloom Spite, no, the Loon Curse uh, box set with the Gloom Spite kits. So if you've pre-ordered, you haven't got anything extra, but if you haven't pre-ordered it and, you know, thinking of buying it, you've got some information to tantalise your uh, taste buds. So, now that I've got the basic the done, we are now going to look at the juicy part, which would be like the endless spells and scenery. Right then guys, first up we've got the Awakened Wildwood, which is a new scenery piece. I know they allowed the GW Wood to be used previously, but I never really come across this because I don't play any Sylvaneth, or come across any Sylvaneth players, but you hear a lot of people saying that people were cutting off the board using um, the Wildwoods. So hopefully um, this new release is going to like stop that imbalance, it's going to be, it might be like maximum 3, maximum 6 and they don't look like they got very big bases, it's very narrow so it looks like we can get through them. Possibly you might have to set them up in a line, you might have to put them in a circle, either or. It dep I, I'm guessing it's going to be you set them up, they got to be close to each other but you can set them up either in a line or make a circle or any variation of that. Hopefully that will stop any, peop any people mourning about Wildwood shenanigans but I think it's a nice little touch because it's like an update on our set and anybody that likes to set, uh, set up uh, the games when it's like in the field of battle when you wanted it wanted they like say you, your beasts of chaos so they come screaming out of the wood you've got 
nice new tree set so this has got a bit of a dual purpose this has got a bit of everything in it so yeah you can either use this as proper scenery or you can use it as angel wildwood so thank you GW and I gotta say they look stunning but I, I this is probably one of the few bits of scenery that I'm not going to complain about this to me is better than say the skull altar release so that's neither here nor there we didn't come here to review it we just came here to let you guys know what was coming up so now we got that done we got some endless spells so let's get the picture up right then guys here they are in all their glory some sexy sylvaneth endless spells don't know whether they're going to be set up like endless spells but for the purpose of the video we are going to call them endless spells straight off the bat we've got the glade worm which we've seen last week when they dropped a little bit of information but to accompany that now we've got the spite swarm hive and the vengeful skull root gotta say i want to know the rules for the skull root so that, that looks menacing man does that looks like it's going to uh devour skulls and you know me i love i love the collection of skulls skulls for the skull throne but anyway some amazing looking models and i gotta be honest the tanglement of roots underneath that skull root is looking exquisite and hard to paint that's going to be a son of a bitch to paint right and like i said we've been given this information it's going to be you know these are going to be dropped as soon as gw can get this order back on track and oh my god i can't wait i said there was going to be a silver air drop it's not going to be as soon soon as I predicted because they've come they've come into uh, trouble, but it looks like it's going to be amazing. So I can't wait to get more information on these. Also, for you Silvernet players, on the community page they've got the war scrolls for the Colonel Hunters. What they've done is instead of lumping it all into one war scroll, they've separated it into the three weapons. To make it easier and with your war scroll card it's not so cluttered so i like that but they also in a way i don't like it because it kind of just gives you too much bump for cards so you've, you've got three 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 cards for one unit so i'm 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 fussy can't win with me so yeah like i said this video was unexpected i wasn't gonna make this i would you know i literally just having a cup of tea just after painting some models so i've actually had half an hour to myself so when i saw this i just couldn't contain my excitement i had to get this out there for you guys i had to share it this is looking like it's going to be a phenomenal uh release so hopefully the the arch revenant is going to be there as well but we've already seen him in his glory, we've already seen some of his rules and if you are lucky enough to pick up the uh, Loon Curse box, you will have him in hand. So guys, Silverneth is on his way, but there's going to be a bit of a wait, unfortunately. And that's it guys, the video is over, this was a very brief you know, summary of what's to come. When we get more information, I will drop more information on this channel. But until then, I hope I've whet your appetite for Sylvanet. And I'm going to make a bad pun by it. I was glad to see that I wasn't barking up the wrong tree when I said this was coming. But bad pun over. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for sharing it. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel for future content. Like I said earlier, we're going to be doing the revisits on Let's Build an Army and so it's going to be a revisit on Sylvan uh Slanesh and Corn. I hope you will, you know, join me for them. The, is the Blood Bowl videos are coming to an end for for a time because we're coming to the end of the league and something 
different might be popping up for them it might be like a one show tournament who knows it's going to be in the pipeline but we will be working towards a league in september more information will be coming up about that if you are interested email down below if you're in the local area if you've got any questions you want to send to the channel the email is down below now it's time for the shilling so if you guys are not interested thank you for watching but if you've stuck around this long we have got a paypal account and we have got teespring accounts so if you head over to teespring and type in noob with a brush you'll be able to find us unfortunately i can't link it to the channel because you've got to be a certain subscriber account and we're nowhere near it but guys that's it video is over the shilling is over and i shall see you in the next video sayonara